All right, let's uh, continue talking about um, uh, the basics of rigid body dynamics and control. We've talked about uh, the fact that angular velocities are vectors. So what it means is we can add them, we can subtract them, can multiply them by scalars and then add them together. And we also talked about time derivative of different vectors in two frames which are rotating with respect to each other now if you recall and if not you can go back and look um, and uh, watch uh, the other video about how we differentiate vectors in two frames the, there's an extra term so we had uh, time differentiation with respect to initial frame on the left hand side and then we had uh, time differentiation with respect to your body frame on the right hand side plus an extra term omega cross uh, your vector now if you think about it if I differentiate omega the second term omega cross omega goes to zero Therefore, therefore, the time derivative of angular velocity in body attached frame and inertial frame is the same. Now we to talk about attitude description. Attitude description is essentially the basis for uh, rigid body dynamics. There are different ways we describe the attitude of a rigid body. We have um, direction cosine matrix or they're just called direction cosines and Euler angle sets or just Euler angles then we have quaternions Rodriguez parameters and we're going to talk about these one by one we start with direction cosine matrix so if you think about translation for example for a second so we have different uh, different frames that we work with and then we start with Cartesian frame though uh, because it is easier maybe to uh, uh, to imagine how Cartesian frame works how we locate objects in a Cartesian frame which is just a distance uh, to three three orthogonal um, axes and here is, is almost the same thing I, uh, this is how I would describe that erection cosine matrix it is um, uh, it is the easiest and uh, to imagine and therefore it is the most fundamental way we describe attitude and they're used uh, to describe uh, attitude of various rigid bodies it's used in spacecraft dynamics and robotics and almost the question would be if you for example use quaternions at the end the question is like how you would describe it using direction cosine matrix because for example uh, when it comes to quaternions you're going to see that it is really by far harder to imagine um, how quaternions describe the attitude of a body but for direction cosine matrix uh, it is by far easier to uh, imagine the orientation of a body using that so definition if you consider two frames we two with two sets of uh, dextral uh, sets of uh, orthogonal unit vectors dextral simply means right-handed so we are because we always work with right-handed coordinate system so uh, then we define cij as ei dot bj hat and if you don't know what the sign is mathematically this is what mathematicians use to say equal by definition right and it is equal by definition so and uh, how it works is for example if you think about these two frames so my E frame and my B frame, then uh, this is a dot product between the two unit vectors. And I and J uh, uh, vary between uh, one and three. So one, two, and three, because we have three unit vectors to describe 
uh, our uh, reference frame. Um, so I was saying that uh, as an example, think about these two frames, then this Cij, because this is a dot product, becomes the magnitude of Ei, magnitude of Bj, and the cosine of the angle between the two. We shorten that using C. So if the angle, for example, between uh, 3 and 2, uh, E3 hat and B2 hat is alpha, was alpha 3, 2, then uh, C3, 2 would be cosine alpha 3, 2. And this is as simple as that. So because we define it this way. And then you, you could clearly see that, all right, if you expand this, you can uh, describe it in matrix form. That's why it's called direction cosine matrix. And each of these components or elements of this matrix are defined this in this very simple way. Uh, describe the cosine of the angle uh, between, for example, this 2, 1 is the cosine of the angle between uh, E2 and uh, B1. Sorry, I just moved. So, uh, so in if we were to describe this relationship in matrix form, it would be B1 hat, B2 hat, B3 hat equals E1 hat, E2 hat, E3 hat, multiply C, right? So we simply replaced uh, this uh, dot product. We, we could think about it this way with this matrix operation, right? So, and then... Um, so direction cosine matrix describes the rel relative orientation of two reference frame or rigid bodies, <coughs> excuse me, E and B. And um, uh, a couple of properties, if you write C and C transpose, then you can show, if you just simply expand that, you can show that the determinant of CC transpose is equal to one, and CC transpose itself is identity matrix, or you can just use summation rule. Uh, if you recall, this is the summation convention says that if, if, if an index is repeated, it means that you sum over that, for example. If it is not easy for, for you to see it this way, then just look at the matrix for it. And I, in this case, is um, identity, uh, identity matrix. <clears throat> So uh, that's about uh, direction cos. I mean, the definition of direction cosine matrix, and then I'll come back to this direction cosine matrix. Maybe explain further what's going on uh, with this um, direction um, cosine matrix. Uh, let me. S yes. Uh, thanks for paying attention.